All right, so we got quick info here. Uh, we got new uh, leaks coming from the KOF collab that was just teased yesterday in game. If you didn't see, I don't know what you're doing. But in game, if you open JP right now, you have a three day login bonus that be, that, that has the uh, the Athena, not Athena, sorry, the the my uh, tease that we got last year, the exact same basically. So it was quite obvious it was a KOF comeback um, and we got basically the confirmation of what characters were coming now there might be other characters that could also come with the collab but these are just basically the guaranteed ones and uh, I don't know may maybe we'll get more but it could also be a collab with only two characters because it seems like it's the same KOF it's KOF 98 they're not venturing into a different game. Like I mentioned in the other video, like they have so much possibilities. They could they could go, they only did KOF 98. They could go for so many other games again. Um, but it seems like they're venturing again in the same game again. I'm, I'm, I'm talking like I know something, but I really don't because that I'm not very knowledged. I'm not very, I'm not well knowledged on, the, on KOF at all. I've never played a KOF game at all, uh, but these are the, the characters that are coming. Uh, they're guaranteed. Th these are guaranteed. There could be more, but these are guaranteed. Terry and Yuri. Um, Terry is the character that went to Smash. So you, you might know him from there if you've never played KOF. Um, and Yuri I've never heard of. He looks like just like an, a basic emo bitch. So, relatable. Um, he, and he look like wears an apron or something. This is a very weird... Costume he has here. Uh, this one does look cool though. Um, so he, he looks like uh, he could be. I don't know. He they, they all look <laughs> they all look like a. But both Terry and Yori just look like a, like a different Keo. <laughs> I don't know. Like Terry just looks like a Street Fighter character, way more than Keo does. Um, and th this guy, I. I it just looks like Kyo but emo, basically. So that those are my conclusions. Uh, he looks evil, so that's cool. And that that's 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 the extent of my knowledge. Um, steampunk cowboy, okay. Ba basketball. I did they have like a like I think they had like a, a costume like that for a Smash. I'm 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 not sure. I'm definitely mis misremembering that. But th this is how, by the way, we know, because usually, you know, a few days be or like 48 hours, 24 hours before a, a patch, they add the bundles in for the new characters uh, for like cosmetics and stuff. So we got these cosmetics for Terry and for Yuri, Wandering Mage, <laughs> that seems fitting for an emo character like that, and Wild Field Jacket. Um... So maybe like this jacket? Uh, I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, and okay, as you can see, they're bringing back the, the costumes for the other characters as well, because the other characters will be on the banner. So we'll see how that will be distributed. Maybe they'll do only two characters so that both will have a 0.5% over the four spread with 0.25 each. Um, I can't complain about that, you know? That, that, that could be the case. And, man, I was hoping, I was really hoping they were going to drop new cosmetics. Like, a part of me was, for especially for Keo, because his CC is just not it, you know? The CC for these characters is just not it. Um, but, it is what it is. Um, also, the, the, the top here, you might have noticed. Um, Sentences X KOF, I need unit selecting package. Athena, my Keo, Rugal. Might be just uh, one of those bundles. I, I would assume that uh, just knowing... A similar bundle like this was uh, Lost Fade Melly, uh, like a little while ago. Um, it was probably gonna be like a hundred bucks. Th th that's how much probably it's gonna be for picking which one you want. Hopefully it's cheaper than that. I'm not gonna buy it because I already have all four six six. But um, that like for when Lost Vein uh, had a bundle like this, you had to buy like a like two other bundles, and then you could unlock the bundle to buy him. And the bundle itself to buy Lost Vein was like a hundred bucks, so it's probably going to be expensive. 
unlike you know when you get like a like one of those guaranteed uh, featured characters that we get for these collabs a little bit cheaper. Uh, like the one if you're selecting them, it's, it ends up being more expensive. But I hope we get like a like a guaranteed ticket for the two new characters. That would be like such a good like 50-50 chance, right? Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. We have like no info on, on like skills or anything. I looked on the Discord for the leaks and stuff, and they have no info on like moves and stuff. So all we basically have is the blank slate that Terry and Yuri are coming. Perhaps maybe more. And I'm, I mean. It's okay to have less characters, but what I'm worried about is having less content the last time. Because I, in my opinion, I think KOF was the best collab we've ever had content-wise. We had a super boss, and we had that arcade machine thing. We had like so much stuff compared to like other collabs. Um, and uh, I'm just concerned it's not going to be the same. If they, they're probably going to bring back Omega Rugal super boss, which is cool and all, but like. <sighs> Reruns of super bosses are never like, yo, let's go. They're more like, oh, he's back. It's it, it, it's just not it's not very exciting, you know. It's much more exciting having something new. But if I had to guess, it's what they're gonna do. They're gonna bring back the Omega uh, super boss, and they're probably gonna bring back the arcade machine. They're probably not gonna get something new. Um, but I, I do hope we get something new. Um, if I had to guess, also they're probably gonna make a, a card set for them. Just because they're doing that for like so many patches, new card sets. Uh, but I I just really hope that um, if they bring back other other collabs as well, um, either they do new content or um, yeah, I just want new content. Like I, I I don't really care for reruns of content. If you're a new player who didn't experience that content like a year ago, fine. But it's it's not even been that long, you know? Like, if you think about the whole grand scheme of things, we are in year three of this game. Because, of course, year one was uh, Until Goddess Liz. I'm talking about JP. Until Goddess Liz, which is the first anniversary. Year two was um, Until Ban. And now we're from Ban on, it's year three. Um, and. Just repeating content, we're, we're still in year 3, we're, we're, our game is not that old uh, compared to other games. Like, Dokkan is in year 7, you know? But, anyways.